Hi everyone, welcome and thank you so much for joining me here today. My name is Heather Lloyd Martin and I am the President and CEO of SuccessWorks SEO Copywriting. Today's question comes from a webinar that I was on yesterday with the folks from Inbound Writer. And at Mr. Potter One asked, how do you address competing keywords where the keyword attracts multiple audiences? Well, that's actually a really good question, especially with business to business sites. Here's what I will see with B2B companies. If they've got folks working there that may not be that SEO or key phrase research savvy yet, it's easy to make some really common mistakes. One of which is within that company, if you look at the results on the right hand side, they might call chemical blenders blenders. And if they talk to other folks within their company or to folks calling in or vendors, everyone may call it a blender. So for a person who's not quite SEO savvy yet, they may think, all right, well, we all call it blender. So let's optimize this page for the term blender. Well, the challenge is, is that in Google's world, when you type the word blenders into the search engine, what you come back with are consumer results. So it's not talking about how to mix chemicals, we're talking about how to mix smoothies. So folks that don't know that end up optimizing their site for a term that isn't going to drive them targeted traffic. Now the second challenge that can also happen is that these folks might be using key phrase research tools and they will type in the word chemical blender and think, wow, there is not that much traffic that comes from chemical blender. Maybe we shouldn't use this. Maybe we should use blenders instead because look at all this traffic. Well, again, the challenge is, is that, all right, say blenders get a lot more traffic, but those folks aren't looking for chemical blenders. They're looking for consumer blenders. So they end up again, optimizing the site for the wrong term and they don't get the traffic and the sales that they need to see. So if this sounds like you, uh, one of the things that you can do for a quick check is to start feeding your keywords in Google to see the type of results that come up. For an example, I typed in the word blade. Well, in the IT world, that can mean blade server. So, but in the Google world, again, you can see that Google looks at it a little bit differently and it says, all right, this is an online paper. It's a local hair studio. It's a film. So if you see those kinds of mixed results in Google, then that actually means that you have a huge opportunity. And by looking at your key phrase research a slightly different way, you can actually start targeting folks with your words that are act looking for your products and services. The key is, is that you need to be really specific when choosing your key phrases. So we change from the word blade to the term blade server, and you can see how the results changed. So if you're in B2B, think specific. Think and go into Google and definitely double check your key phrase research to make sure that the results that are coming up are relevant for that page and they don't have a lot of consumer searches mixed in. So thank you so much. If you would like more SEO copywriting goodness or SEO copywriting tips, you can visit my site at seocopywriting.com and you can also sign up for my free new weekly newsletter. And if you have any questions, I'd love to know about them. You can reach me at, at Heather Lloyd or on email at heather at seocopywriting.com. Thank you.